Hello, dear ones, and happy Earth Day. Today we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the creation of Earth Day. Earth Day was created 50 years ago in collaboration with people working in the government and in the private sector to celebrate our connection with the Earth, to lift up and, and highlight our dependence on the Earth, and that we actually had a responsibility to tend and care for the Earth. In those days, pollution was a problem. Uh, we were seeing the effects of herbicides and pesticides on decreasing bird populations, and there was great concern about what was going on in our environment. They really wanted to highlight the impact of human habitation upon the earth and our responsibility to tend to that relationship and tend to the impact that we were having upon the earth. That continues to be an issue 50 years later. And I remember throughout my childhood, being in the natural world was something that was so important and so nourishing to me. And when we moved here over 20 years ago, I decided then and there that an essential part of my daily spiritual practice would be walking in the natural world. So every morning, I either would walk to the river or walk along the Mississippi River. When we first got here to Unity, we were so busy, I wasn't spending as much time walking as I normally would like to do. And one day at a, the director of religious education here at Unity at the time, Becca Pornor, came up to me and said, have you ever been to Hidden Falls? And I said, no. And she said, well, it's this wonderful park in St. Paul along the Mississippi River. You should go see it. And I went, the next free Saturday afternoon that I had, we went down to Hidden Falls. And here was this beautiful expanse of green lawns with these beautiful, large cottonwood trees and oak trees. And I immediately fell in love. And it, from then on, became one of the places that are sacred to me. And it's a place that I often go after a memorial service that we've held here at Unity so I can remember and celebrate that person among the cottonwood trees. Every morning now, as a central part of my spiritual practice, we walk along the Mississippi River. Whether it's snowing, whether it's raining, whether it's cold or hot, we walk every single morning. We do so so that we can express our gratitude to the natural world, ground ourselves in wonder and awe, and we do so to notice, to notice the things of beauty, to notice what's happening in the world, to hear the songbirds, and to, and every morning on our way to the Minnehaha Dog Park, we pass an eagle's nest. And we always notice what's going on in the nest. Now, right now, it's nesting season. So in those nests are little eaglets. And you actually can see an eagle's nest on the DNR webcam, eagle cam. And I totally recommend that to you. But anyway, we look up and we see the nest. And then we go down to the dog park. And we walk along the river. And we take a path that actually isn't as well is not as frequented as many of the other paths in the park. And we walk along the banks of the Mississippi, and we look up, and there again is another eagle's nest. And that eagle's nest is in Hidden Falls, that we look upon, across the river, and we see this wonderful nest. And again, we see a little white head of a parrot eagle looking over their eaglets. And just on Sunday afternoon, I was walking on this path with the dogs, and I came upon a masked mother and her two kids throwing rocks in the Mississippi River. And I said to them, keeping a safe distance as I did so, are you aware that the, just around the bend of this path that you can look up and see an eagle's nest in, at Hidden Falls? And they said, really? And they turned to their mother and they said, Mom, can we go and see the eagle's nest? And I watched her hesitate because it was clear that they'd been there for a while. And I could hear the mother tape saying, oh, we probably should get going. Because one of the things that we've learned in COVID-19 
is that actually we can take time. And you could see her kind of thinking about it. And she said, you know what? We can take the time and we'll go see that eagle's nest. And so I'm hoping that each of you will see one of the gifts of this COVID-19 time is that we actually can slow down, take time, notice, not be so rushed, not feel like we have to get home to get that dinner going, but actually take time and go and see the magic of an eagle's nest. I hope you take that time. I know I do. Happy Earth Day.